Hello, welcome to preparing a fleece from Raw. This is from our local farmer. This fleece is a blue, fle blue faced Leicester crossed with an Exmoor horn. So it's quite a shiny uh, wool. Anyway, so the first thing is gloves, apron. Keep yourself clean and safe. A lot of people do work with raw wool. I choose not to, I have small children, so it's safer not to. Okay, so we're going to, how to sort the fleece and how we're going to scour it, okay? So we're gonna scourge the fleece, it's cool. We lay it out as best we can on your, your area and remove the edges which are stained. As you can see, if you have a look closer, you can see there's blue dye uh, from when the farmer sprays. This will leak. There's a bit of purple here as well, their markings. It will leak onto your wall. So we need to remove those before we even think about that. But I'm working around as we go round. I've already removed some already to make the fleece a bit shorter. And my day's a little bit windy outside today, so I can't really lay it on the floor. So I'm having to do my best indoors. Okay, we call it a VM, which is vegetable matter or sheep poo. So we look at all the edges of, of, of our fleece and work out. So some of this here has got a bit of blue dye on. This stuff is going to no, be no good. So literally pull this away. We, we, you can try and wash it if you're really attached to the fleece or whatever, but I'm not. I suppose that I'm going in my composter later. Okay, so this is some of the stuff also that you may find on the edge. So this kind of very short bits, and if you have a look closer, you can see um, it's got um, possibly some um, sheep feces or some mud. Um, we don't want that in our, in our, this really is not worth search going through and you can see it's pretty caked. So we'll dispose of that. Okay, so keep on working your way around, removing the pieces that we can't. Also when the farmer shears his sheep, he goes in sometimes, if you have a look closer here, you can see as he goes in, he sometimes puts the, the, the shearers in twice and you get this very short, Bits. These really aren't any good. If you need a felt, maybe, but I don't, so I'm disposing of those items. So if you keep on going round, we aim for a, a shape of a quarter of our fleece, and I work with each quarter because my buckets aren't particularly big. Okay, so once we've gone round and we've removed all the pieces we feel we can't work with, um, I've got a lot of fleeces to go through. I don't really have much time to go through every single little piece there. So I'm gonna do my best to go through, as I said, removing all of this dye. Um, you can either pull it apart, it's probably the safest option, like this, and just remove that. Um, I haven't tried soaking this on its own to see what happens. Maybe I should do that. Do you know what? I think I might keep that and see what happens, just an experiment, see if I can actually remove the dye. So I might keep that separate and just see. So we've got some blue and some purple marking here, which, yeah, take it out, remove it, and as I said, I'll, I'll give it a little practice and see what actually happens, but you want to remove all of those pieces. Okay, so once we've worked our way around our fleece, still wearing your gloves please, and your aprons, we can roll it up into a suitable size that we choose for our container. I only have small buckets, so that's enough for me to do in a lot. So we fill our buckets, as you can see, with tap hot, as hot as your tap can go. There's many ways you can scour your wall, but this is the way I choose and it seems to work quite well. In there is my detergent after the water so it doesn't foam. As you can see, it's still steaming quite hot there, so we, we use that one after. We're gonna gently place the wall inside the bucket. Now, if we agitate the wall, we are likely to felt it. We don't want that to happen. We are just removing the lanolin and some of the dirt. There you go, my gloves, you can see how much dirt, if you take a close look, you can see how much dirt's coming out of this fleece already. I like to do this once, then I spin, then I wash again, because I'm a little bit afraid to felt my wool. So gently push down, removing any air bubbles, making sure your fleece, as again, you can see the color of that already. So that's some of the lanolin, and the dirt in the fleece. Now I'm going to leave that for a few hours. Don't be tempted to go back and touch it. Okay, so my next video will show how we dry this and then how we drum card the fleece afterwards into bats ready for spinning. 
I hope that was of some use to some of you. And as I said, I'll try the dyed, uh, the ink on the wool and see what that turns out. So hopefully a little bit less wastage of a fleece. So continue with this. Um, any questions, please just mention on the bottom and I'll do my best to answer them for you. But please subscribe to my channel and like the page. Thank you. I'll see you next time.